Your light really goes down fast in this game, doesn't it? Gonna have to keep a close eye on that. Wow, right? Yep, just right down to 75 now. Now things get more dangerous. All right, this is room six. So after I finish this room, I think I'm gonna camp to recover. For the slightest lapse in concentration. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna uh, gamble too much here. Oh man, we're already, this is already looking a little bad. Uh, let's see here. I can do a weakening curse to reduce damage. It's probably a good move to just generally improve our chances. I can also pull one of those assholes forward, which would give me a chance to, uh, only 67% chance to hit you to work though. If I could pull one of those guys forward, then I'd be uh, more prone to just beating him down. Uh, don't I have a stun? Pull. Oh, the stun only works when I'm near the front. Okay. Uh, I th oh, bonus damage against Eldritch. Are these guys Eldritch? They're unholy. Nope. Okay. I think I'm going to go for a pull so we can just beat one of these uh, courtiers down because they have special abilities. Success. Right? Yes. Okay. Now it's just wail on this dude. Uh, I'm gonna go for an AOE with this guy, I think. That seems to be the way to go with my... With this character. Come on! Yeah, two to five for the whole party. That's that's handy. Wow! Knackle has the most incredible uh, rolls today. Not only is he hitting everyone every time, it seems, but there, he's also... Six, oh yeah, let's do a AOE too. Wow! I am just incredibly lucky today. I'm not even in dim light that normally increases my crit. Like, like when, when pitch black I have bonus crit. Right now I don't really have any bonuses. I'm just getting really lucky. And I am okay with that. Oh, I was going to start bleeding out the uh, in, the uh, enemy caster type dude. Still want him to be a problem. Alright. Yeah, our tank's taking some damage. Not ideal, but still. Uh, the amount of AoE in this party definitely paying off. Let's try to... Wow, we're back on this guy again. Okay. I'm a little... I might have to research the turn order of things. I don't know if I understand it fully. I get... There we go. Double kill. Success. A trifling victory. Uh, bleeding That's pendant. A victory nonetheless. Exclusive to a Hellion. Oh. I don't have a Hellion. I have a Crusader, a Jester, a Highwayman, and an Occultist. But when I get one, it'll do 15% bonus to bleed skills. Alright. And 10% damage. Wait. Where's my other item? Stun charm. Oh no! I picked up an item for a character earlier, and it's gone. I think it's gone, yeah. Huh. Maybe it, maybe it gets dropped off in town, or maybe... I don't know, it might have been automatically sold at the end of the quest. Unfortunate, because yeah, if, if you can't... Huh. I mean, it, you, it, it, you can't, if you can't put it on your character, then that's it. So I guess if, if you don't have a certain uh, class with you, maybe it automatically sells the item, and that's it. So looking at this map... Let's see. What are we scouting here? Oh, next area is just going to have... It's just going to have a chest. So here's what we have. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. There's five to go. Logically, I'm going to say, let's let's go for a camp. Let's try to play it safe. We're, we're, some, some of us are doing great, but two of, two of us are, are roughly half down. And one of us is very low. So let's try to set up a camp and maybe recover here. <coughs> It's also a chance a to learn what this is. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. The benefits of camping. Camping consists of two parts: meal phase and skill phase. During the meal phase, you, during the meal phase, you choose how much they eat, which which determines recovery. Make sure you have enough food. Skill phase allows you to spend rest points on different hero skills used for recuperation. How many rest points do I have? Is what I'm wondering. So are we in, I assume we're in the e the eating phase, and then after this we get the the skill phase. Move something forward in the screen just because it's going to distract me. There's an empty log slot there. Let's see. So nothing. I can have. Oh. If we just have two, nothing happens. If we have nothing, then people lose health and stress. <laughs> okay. If I do, I can get 10% health from eating four, or I can if I use eight. Then, uh, 25% bonus health and minus 10 stress. That seems like a great idea. I mean, I have 10 food, so that's, like, why I brought so much in the first place, right? I assume that that's how much I use overall, not how much per person, right? Let's go for it. Yeah, recovery. It's a good thing I brought all that food, right? Respite is 12. Use camping skills to bolster your party's physical and mental health. Okay. Let's find out what my skills are. So, Lord Verd. Uh, reduce stress of one companion by 10. Cost 2. Stand tall. 
Uh, self only. Uh, give yourself a stress resist. That's interesting. Does that last the rest of the instance? Uh, all companions, 10% heal and reduce stress by 10. That's great. If I can use that to... It'll use like half of my total time, but it'll give me a 10% heal, which is handy because some of these people are... Particularly Thamurds, lower than I'd like them to be. Uh, pep talk. Give someone... Give one person stress resist. Uh, dark ritual. Uh, reduce torchlight by 33. Everyone heals by 10%. Noticeably, it costs less to do. So this could be a good option, potentially, because I do have a fair amount of torches on me. So I could recover the torchlight using more torches, but then also get more heal per, uh, by the amount of time I have. Dark strength, uh, increases, oh, increase one, oh, oh, okay. Increases his own stress by 15, but gives one companion 20% damage. That could be handy. Give that to my tank character, who's frankly a pretty hard hitter too. Wound care. One companion heals 20%. Oh. This could be... And, uh... 15% chance to remove target bleeding. That could be really... That's probably the best way to go. Uh, I could do the AoE heal on everybody, but the biggest... One of the biggest priorities is that certain individuals have, uh... Lower hit points. One of my concerns is I don't know if I can use any of these more than once, or if I have to use them once and that's it. Uh, clean guns. I can make my rogue get 10 accuracy. 20% damage. 5% crit. That's great. So, a significant self buff. Bandit sense. Self only. Less likely to be surprised until next camp. More likely to, to surprise monsters until next camp. That's also really handy. This rogue has really good... All of his abilities are really good. Turns out having someone with street smarts and survival skills is good to have around. Oh, Jester also has wound care where you can heal one person for 20%. Turn back time. Reduce stress by 30 for one companion. That's significant. Tiger's Eye. One companion gets 10 accuracy and 25% stress resist. Wow. If I use Tiger's Eye on, I want to say our tank, like, bonus accuracy could be handy. But also, if this guy gets bonus accuracy and bonus everything, he could just have, like, a 100% hit rate, practically, and do tons of damage to everybody, so that could be handy. I'm going to go with Wound Care first on our lowest health hit point character. There we go. Did I wash this needle? Well, too late now. <laughs> Concerning. Uh, let's do Wound Care on our tank. There. Now you will die much more slowly. All right, so that, we're down to eight. That's one third of our Norton total. Uh, I could do an AOE heal, which would be handy, but uh, first of all, I, I think I do want to do clean guns. That's a significant boost. Although it doesn't explain very well how long it's gonna last, but I'm just gonna assume it's the rest of the instance or until next camp, maybe? Which, this is gonna be the only camp, so that works. Bam! Significant buff, 10 accuracy, 20 damage. A bandit sense might be good too because it's it uh, surprises are nasty. Uh, Ten accuracy and stress resist that could be handy. All companions heal and reduce stress. Uh, that's a big cost though. Uh, stand tall, uh, just self resist. Yeah, the, not nothing super cool right there. I'm trying to figure out what the last things I want to do. Ooh, there we go. Increase self stress, but make one da companion do bonus damage. Oh god, what if I keep stacking bonus damage on my my ranger? What if he just has ridiculous damage? This costs two. What was the other buff I wanted to do? Cost three. Let's do it. More accuracy. Jesus Christ. So I, I, I've put some uh, stress on Thamurd, but I think he can take it because we're doing really well on stress right now. But look at this guy. Tenek. Oh, fuck. Hit my head, hit headphones for a second there. Uh, 10 ranged accuracy, 20 ra damage, uh, 10 accuracy, 25 stress resistance, 20% damage. So if I can use a... Uh, so whenever, whenever I get a hit off, that he should be super powerful now. What, what are my things to have here? Uh, Hellion only, so that's not useful. And stun resist, so not, I can't buff him anymore with items necessarily. So, my goal here is to make Knackles and Knackle a super badass ranger that does some crazy AoE damage, because in particular he has really cool AoE abilities. The downside is, we're, we're going to learn this the hard way, is uh, if the AI is really good at this, he might it might just crowd control and single target him, knowing that he's dangerous. There's only one way to find out, and it's the hard way. Things are going according to plan. <coughs> Plenty of blood to spill this day. If we work together, we can overcome this all. 
Wake up! They are upon us. Are we getting attacked? Oh shit. We are getting attacked. Oh shit, we're getting ambushed. Oh no! Why'd that happen? Well, at least my ranger's not in the front. That's good. Let's see. Um, if I jump to the front, then I can protect our... our mage, at least. That's probably a good thing to do at this rate. I can also... Oh, oh yeah, I have, I have access to my... I can stress heal... Play, that's not good. I'm gonna go for the, the Dirk Stab to try to get in front here. Can I use a, a torch? I can, good. Dirk Stab, uh, 47. 4 to 7, and they do... Uh, they have 12 and 15 hit points. I'm gonna go for the Fuseler to see if I can do some extra damage to him. If I'm lucky, I'll crit. Not a crit. Still not bad, though. Uppercut Slice. Oh no, he still got him, even though I kind of got tried to get more in the way. Wow. A full AoE attack, and it hit none of us. I'm impressed. Oh no. Because I did that, this character's now in the back, which is awkward. Let's go, let's look at Pistol Shot. How much does it do? 5 to 12, 5 to 12, 90% chance to hit. 50% uh, chance to crit. If I'm lucky, I can just wipe someone out. I'm gonna go for the Fuseler, because it'll remove an entire person from the fight. That's handy. I would have rather had him closer to the front, but they fucked up my party composition, and so my choice is like... Oh no! Wow, my, my caster's really low on hit points already. We're getting... He's getting really targeted. Which is weird, because he's not even a, the particularly strong guy in this party. Let's do everything we can to debuff people and weaken them. Uh... Let's see, Zealous Accusation versus... Let's do a Stunning Blow. If I stun someone, then they're less likely to be able to fight back. Ooh, and a crit! I'll take it, for sure. We're getting encouragement. Unfortunately, encouragement doesn't stop our, our my caster friend from almost being dead. Uh, let's see, 5 to 12, or... Oh yeah, I can't even target him because he's in the front, that's right. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's see if I can if I can wipe him out all together. Success. Yeah, my ranger character's gonna get a little, little scary now. Let's just see if we can wipe him out before he gets to fight back. Oh, he's about to do it. And it's a dodge, because we have... Turns out he's really good at dodging. This is pretty much his job, right? Let's get you to the back. There we go. That'll give me better access to my all of my moves as my ranger, too. Uh, stunning blow. Let's go for that. There we go. There's more... There's probably... There's stronger abilities I could use, but making sure he can't fight back is my top priority, because then... I'm better off. So, now my grape shot has a... Wow. 4 to 9 damage and 90% hit. I'm not going to do it now, obviously, because... Uh... Oh, 5 to 11 versus 4 to 10? That's not even that big of a difference, actually. Yeah, 4 to 9. It doesn't crit, though, ever. So it's probably better to do this one, the melee attack. And he's down. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It really is a bummer to know that As my, uh... As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. It's really disappointing that, uh... I do all that work to heal up my party, and then the first thing that happens is... Party takes damage, specifically the guy that I, I focused on healing the most. Oh well, we're just gonna have to deal, I guess. Let's do, Jester, you wanna open up an Iron Maiden and see what happens? I'm sure it'll be safe. Inhales foul vapors. Oh, is, is he poisoned? Oh, he's got Lockjaw. Oh no. Lockjaw, tetanus, minus 5 accuracy, minus 10% minus damage. Does uh, That's permanent? <laughs> he just... Did he just... He just got permanent tetanus. I want to point out, this guy has minus 20% stress resistance, resistance against the unholy, which is everyone in this entire instance. So, he's doing pretty well, all things considered, but, oh, goddamn. Lockjaw, that sounds pretty, that's pretty permanent, I guess. I, as far as I know, those, those traits don't really come and go. Wait, you guys are spooky. So you're human, unholy, human. Okay. So what can I do to you? Oh yeah, Grape Shop Blast. We're gonna have some fun. Alright, so 49 damage to all of them. Hey guys. How do you like having almost all your hit points gone? Okay, maybe less effective on, on the front guy, but still. Oh, thank goodness for the resist. I don't want them messing with my party order right now. See, I can pull someone forward, or I can go for an attack. Or I can debuff someone. Let's let's weaken their, their front guy, because he's going to last the longest. Anything? Oh, he resisted it. That's the whole point of casting that spell. That's a bummer. Hopefully they don't get too many opportunities to attack the guy in the back, because that's 
Not ideal for me. Let's do an AoE. Two damage each, but they're also... Oh, only one of them is bleeding. Still, though, the guy in the back's bleeding. That means, yeah, she's going to probably die the moment she gets another move properly. So, go for Zealous Accusation. Try to do damage to these guys. Three to seven each. All right. Skeleton's down. And now the size alone does not dissuade the Now the cultist is down. And that time we debuffed him so he's doing less damage, so all is right in the world. Let's try to finish him off. Success, because because Nicholson and Nicholson is fucking is only dangerous the first now. Test. Now it must be carried home. I'm very concerned that we're gonna lose Thamur during this instance, just because he does not have a lot of hit points, and I don't have a lot of ways of dealing with that problem right now. I could feed him food, but you only get like one hit point each. There's there's better ways of handling that, I think, but who knows. Uh, let's see. Move to the next room. If I'm lucky, he'll just not get hit for a while. Can I open that? What's that? Crate is empty. Alright, cool. Thanks for that. Let's light up a bit to avoid getting ambushed. Keep moving forward. Uh, this area does not look scouted, so we're probably going to get attacked right now. No. Okay. No fight is good for me. That means that we we get a significant uh, gap forward in the instance without having to lose more hit points. Another fire, because we're running a little low. Pick the next room. Okay, we just have to make it down three hallways and through three rooms, and then this is over. And then Thamurd lives or dies in that process. Alright, it's all about AoE and being careful, I think. Mixture of, a I mean, mixture of AoE and crowd control, really. So I can do three to seven to both of these guys, potentially. Or I can do one to three, but also stun them, right? Stun, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for the stun just because it'll remove one of them from the fight for the moment, hopefully. Please work. Stun, successful. Only a 25% resist chance, so that's a good a good per, uh, chance. Let's do an AoE bleed. There we go. Oh, he resisted it, but still. One stun, one bleed, and one asshole in the back that doesn't know when to die. Uh, let's, if I pull him to the front, I can cause some damage, I think. That could be fun. Do I want to pull him to the front or just, or just wail on him? What is he? He's unholy? Okay. I could also debuff somebody. Huh. What kind of damage are you looking at? Three to six? <coughs> With a 12% crit chance, I might actually destroy him. Uh, let's go for it. Please, ah, oh, three, the bare minimum. This is why you're going to die in this instance, the Murd. It's all your fault. <laughs> Oh, we're taking some damage. Taking some damage and we're losing we're losing morale. We're losing morale quickly. So AoE attack, 49, 49, 49. Uh 90% chance to hit and 83 on the back. Please do some serious damage here. He could seriously kill two of these guys right now. Killed one of them. Get very close to the other one too. Overall, not a terrible place to be in. Ow! Damn, they're focused on Lucas today. I really don't want Lucas to die in his first ever instance. <laughs> that happened already with Beast, but I don't want to have that. Well, I want it to be like a trend. I'm not trying to make that a trend. Let's weaken this dude. Just stop hitting us. That'd be great. Oh, he's alive. Let's fix that. So much damage. That guy's great. Okay. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Maybe you should just be an optimist, narrator. Hey, ever think about that? Oh my god! Ambushed by foul invention. He has 0.6 hit points. He just got almost killed by a trap. Uh, should I have him eat? Each party member generally consumes one unit of uh, per meal. Uh, stave off hunger. Should I go, uh, as a start, he's really in bad shape. I don't, I don't know what the best solution in here is. Uh, clearly. I need to buy more food in the future. Actually, in the future, what I need to do is, uh... I put, in, I put too much stock in the idea of buying, uh... Salvage the Unburned Torch. Oh, cool. Free torch. I'll use that right now. I think my mistake is I spent... I, I uh... I think I spent too much, uh... Food at the campfire. Because I, fi I figured I'd use the, the heal, but then, of course, people had healing skills that were probably more reasonable, so... I should have waited for the healing skills rather than uh, try to heal via food entirely, because then I could have had more food for when I need it, because I might need it very soon. Go for that AoE. Please bleed. 
Oh, double resist. This game is just not interested in giving me any favors right now. So do I want to pull... I could pull their, their courtier to the front if I want to, or I could try to debuff somebody's damage. Uh, let's go for the pull. 867, 80%. I'll go for the Arbalist, yeah. Better ch better chance of success and another opportunity to get their ranged guy out of sync and mess up their comp their party composition. A good reason for doing this is the fact that their Bone Soldier, as far as I know, probably focused on melee attacks, so putting them near the back probably causes problems. Go for that Grape Shot. Is it really called Grape Shot? Yeah, Grape, grape Shot Blast. 4 to 9, 4 to 9, 4 to 9, 90, 90. Yep, great hit chances, good damage. Let's see what I can do. The only- the downside with that attack is it doesn't crit, ever. It's not capable of critting, but the AoE seems worth it to me. Uh, 3 to 7. 3 to 7. I could kill both- I'm mo I will most likely kill both of them if I'm lucky. That's not a- that's not how sentences work, by the way. I will most likely kill both of them if I'm lucky. That's not- most likely and likely you don't mix. Come on! Yeah! There we go. If I can keep fights flowing like this, I have a good chance of getting through this. Yes! In this game, you take so much damage so quick, and it's always a concern that just every time that I dodge or a, t a damage doesn't happen to me, it just feels like a minor victory. So far, Thamurd hasn't gone down. He's got a, his chances are not super high. Come, let's go for the Dirk Stab. Hopefully, this will end the fight. Yes, it will. And then I can just rearrange the party in a second here. There we go. Ooh, Speed Stone. Plus one speed, minus one percent crit. You don't have enough room to make room to carry all that you want to carry. Uh, let's see. Who has low crit already? Let's see. I don't know. If the, I don't know if this guy crits so much anyway. Yeah, you mo I don't. Uh, crits aren't really my focus on Lucas necessarily. I think I might go for this bonus speed. Also, a rare chance to get an upgrade item that I can actually put on my character instead of. Uh, Instead of having it just sit in my inventory, because so far they're not... They're either not equipable, or there's or there are ones like the stun charm, where... I don't think 10% stun resist is worth the minus 4 dodge. That seems like a significant amount of dodge. Like, the dodge seems like it's really handy. Uh, who should open this? Let's ha let's open it with, uh... Our highwaymen. The other people might be in danger. If it's trapped, I don't want them to... I don't want to get killed. Can I open it? Oh. Okay, so it looks like I have to always open it from the perspective of my front guy, Knight, but I can click on who does it, I think. Contents are yours. They're... Ooh, sapphire and gold. We are running out of inventory space. Uh-oh. Uh, value 1,000 versus value... Uh, 500. Oh, no. Value 250. Oh, Jade sucks. But it might stack more is the issue. Or I, could, or I could just use the food. <laughs> I could just use the last food. Fuck it. There we go. Now I can take all the food with me. There's probably a parable here about the fact that I just sacrificed food to carry more money. <laughs> it's a cautionary tale for people, for mistakes people make. Alright, moment of truth, guys. Two more hallways, two more, uh, two more ch danger rooms. And we'll see if I can get through the, with this party alive. My chances might not be great. <laughs> This game is definitely tense, irrevocably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on opening stuff with with uh, Nacklesson and Knackle, just because... Uh... Shit's dangerous. A map! Ooh, free scouting. That's great. Oh. That's all I got? That wasn't a ton of map. Okay. I'm doing stuff with, with him because he has the most hit points, and I figure if anything bad happens... Uh, only foul-smelling air? That's better than an actual debuff. Oh! It's oh, you fucker, did you just... Cruel machinations Stop spring it. to life with a singular purpose. God damn it, he's got zero hit points. What do I- I can't do anything, can I? Uh, wait, I can use a torch, right? Yeah, let's do it. That, I didn't see that trap on the floor, I don't know if it was visible or not. That was, I might have, I might have fucked up, but I don't think it was Oh. Staunch bleeding, that's not gonna help. Yeah, I can't use that. Uh, these are all just valuable things. Uh... Yeah, I'm not in good shape here. I don't have anything to help. I just have to keep pushing forward. Oh, you nasty traps. How are, how are half these traps happening to the, the, the uh, back person is what I'm wondering. Let's see. We're getting close, but... God, if anything hits him, he's just dead. That's it. 
we just lose him just like that. That's going to be really disappointing. Like, at any point during this fight, someone could just kill him, and I can't do anything about it. I really... I, could, I desperately need another healer is the issue, because, uh... Unfortunately, my only healer was high on stress, so I thought I needed to have him sit out, and I didn't have a replacement. And now I'm regretting that, but holy crap! What I'm not regretting is giving 15 billion buffs to our badass rogue that does too much damage. That's fun. Uh, zealous Accusation. Let's try to wipe both these guys out. Success! Alright. And then there was one. And just, just fucking watch. This guy's gonna get it one turn, and during that one turn he's going to perfectly wipe out uh, our caster. Or I'll crit and one-shot him here. That'd be cool. Nope. Watch him kill my fucking caster. Oh, cool. I got a chance. Anything to stop him? Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. No murdery. No. No. Okay, cool. He's hitting that guy. Oh, he's low on hit points too, though. That's not ideal. And a dodge. Wow, he actually dodged. Okay. Uh, let's smite his ass, right? Yeah. 65% uh, chance is not a high chance. Go for a stun? Yeah. I'll go for the higher chance of stun because then we can take him out. Of the, you can take him out of the fight because he won't be able to react in time, I think. There we go. Now our, our ranger probably will wipe him out. Yeah. Take him out. So much damage. I keep calling him our ranger when he's a highwayman. I understand that mistake. Wow. We've actually hit the point where I have so much shit in my inventory I can't even carry uh, more money. Let's see. What's not worth very much? This thing, this is a stack of one emer- Yeah, look at here. We, we, we've gone from two jades to three jade just like that. That's what I predicted. I was worried about throwing away jade because I was sure I was going to just pick up more jade because it seems common. Emerald, by the way, on the other hand, is less valuable. Let's see. Maybe I should get rid of these charm. Eh. I've said I, I've said I don't like that stun charm. Let's get rid of that. There we go. I was I was about to get rid of something else, but instead let's do that. <gasps> Exit dungeon. Exit dungeon. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm sure you guys. I'm sure you guys understand why I'm doing this. I could go one room deeper and potentially get more loot, but Thamurd has zero hit points and will die if I don't get out of here. So I, if, when I'm given the chance to escape. Absolutely. But first, though, let's check this armor as my character that has all, almost full hit points. Please don't kill us all. Hey! I'm not, oh, Jesus, another buff. Now he's got 10% dodge and 10% protection. This is dumb. He's so powerful. He's, he's going to lose all that the moment he leaves this, this, this dungeon, I'm sure, which makes me kind of sad. But anyway, let's just let's get out of here before we lose somebody permanently. Room by room. Hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. So our treasure is worth 10,000 gold. Our rewards is 4,500 gold, three, uh, three busts and four crests, and a leper mask, which is great if I can, if I'm allowed to put that on my leper or not. Uh, then we have six busts down there for a total of nine new busts, two deeds, and. Uh, we got an overall eight crest. That's a, as far as I can tell, that's good rewards. Don't have a lot of, to compare it to, but I'm I'm happy. Three resolve XP. Oh yeah, look at those bars starting to fill up. That's good to have. No new traits showing up. Gift of the healer. Wait, were those things always there and I failed to click on them? Shit, was I supposed to click on those before? Uh, in camp, twenty. Oh, cool. Uh, Lord Verd gets extra healing in camp. Oh god, Lucas has uh, lower stress resistance when the light's low, so that's that's two reasons where he gets reduced stress resistance now. Uh, oh, minus 20% armor upgrade cost, that's great. Wow, our, bad our, our badass highwayman just got 3% crit with his ranged attacks, that's pretty much the best case scenario. The murder is, oh no, he's winded. Whenever he's low on hit points, he loses one speed. That's not that's not that severe, I guess, but still. Hey! 20% scouting chance in the ruins. That's where we've been all the time, so that's definitely good. That said, he's his starting to get high on stress a little bit, so I may want to have him rest. Let's head on back to town. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. So let's find out what happened when we were gone. So, Lucas is now an Apprentice Jester level 1. Our group was successful. Oh, we just unlocked the Warrens, a new area. The sanitarium's unlocked. Let's see. 
in oh drink god or dice something else uh in the uh sozny engaged in flagellation recovered 81 stress wow okay so uh turns out sozny likes to beat themselves that's that was very effective main g gambled and recovered 55 they're both doing okay they're uh, they're down to like one bar each that's a good good place to be quest goals are still defeat all these dudes haven't seen any of them yet so i'm sure we'll get closer to that as we go on uh what's our new thing a sanitarium treats quirks and diseases interesting i'm gonna take a break though guys so thanks for watching guys like always and i'll see you next time and next time we'll take a look at the sanitarium and find out the ins and outs of how it works although i'm sure it helps out with those uh negative effects which is good because we gave was it thermurd no we gave lucas i think has tetanus yeah if i can treat the tetanus that'd be good because that's minus 10 percent damage is not cool that'd be my top priority i think all right thanks for watching guys